In the dark alleys of a small Indian town in the year 1936, two stoners, Rajan and Sanjay, stumbled upon a mysterious street vendor with a sinister grin. His hooded cloak concealed much, but his gnarled hands held two clay cups filled with a potent bang drink. Careful, my adventurous souls, the vendor warned in a voice that sent shivers down their spines. This bang drink is more than mere intoxication. It opens the veil between the realms and you may attract the gaze of deities. Rajan, always up for a thrill, laughed nervously. Well, we wanted an adventure, didn't we, Sanjay? Let's see if Lord Shiva can handle our stoned humour. Sanjay smirked, but deep down... A tremor of unease stirred within him. You're right, Rajan. Let's take this trip of a lifetime. With bang coursing through their veins, Rajan and Sanjay's laughter filled the air as they traversed the winding streets. Colours grew vibrant and the world seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. Yet their euphoria waned when they noticed a figure shadowing their every step. Hey, Rajan, do you see that? Sanjay whispered, glancing at the figure lurking in the shadows. Rajan squinted, his heart racing with the realization that no one else seemed to notice the presence of the mysterious stalker. Who is that guy? And why does he look so? Ethereal. The figure drew closer, and with each step, a chilling dread gripped their hearts. It was none other than Lord Shiva himself, his divine form both mesmerizing and terrifying, yet his presence was invisible to everyone else. Ooh, Sanjay, I think we're not just stoned. We're seeing the god of destruction, Rajan stammered, his attempt at humor now tinged with fear. Lord Shiva's intense gaze bore into their souls, and a voice both commanding and haunting echoed in their minds. You have tasted the elixir of the gods. Now you must face the consequences. Rajan and Sanjay exchanged horrified glances as they realized the gravity of their situation. They were entangled in a divine encounter far beyond their comprehension, trying to find humor amidst the terror Sanjay quipped, well, Rajan, if this is an acid trip, it's the worst possible kind. As they hurried through the streets, Lord Shiva's spectral presence followed them, his gaze unwavering. Shadows seemed to elongate and contort, forming nightmarish shapes that danced on the edges of their vision. They could feel the fabric of reality fraying under the weight of a divine presence no one else perceived. Rajan's heartbeat thundered in his ears as he tried to maintain a semblance of courage. Sanjay, this is getting too real. I've joked about meeting gods, but I never expected to be on their guest list. Sanjay, struggling to keep his fear in check, replied with a forced smile. Well, maybe we should have stuck to watching stoner comedies instead of becoming one. Yet, with each passing moment, Lord Shiva's presence intensified, and their surroundings grew more grotesque. Buildings warped into twisted monstrosities, and the once familiar streets became a labyrinth of horror. In a desperate attempt to escape the gods' relentless pursuit, Rajan and Sanjay ducked into a deserted temple seeking sanctuary. But to their dismay, the deity's ethereal form followed undeterred by physical barriers, Okay, okay, Lord Shiva, we get it. You're a dedicated fan. But can we at least get an autograph before you send us into oblivion? Rajan exclaimed, his voice laced with a mixture of fear and futile humor. Lord Shiva's wrathful gaze burned into their souls as he spoke, his voice echoing through the temple. You dare mock the divine! Prepare to face the consequences of your audacity! As the temple trembled under the deity's wrath, statues cracked and ancient symbols glowed with an ominous light. The air thickened with a suffocating malevolence, threatening to crush their spirits. Rajan and Sanjay, trapped between a deity and their own mortality, shared one last glance, their eyes filled with a mixture of terror and camaraderie. Sanjay, we've laughed through our highs, but this, this is the ultimate buzzle. Rajan muttered, his voice trembling with a blend of resignation and dark humour. 
With a thunderous roar, Lord Shiva unleashed his divine fury, casting them into a realm of eternal darkness. The world dissolved around them, leaving them stranded in a void of infinite terror. In the suffocating grip of Lord Shiva's divine wrath, Rajan and Sanjay found themselves engulfed in an abyss of eternal darkness. Their pleas for mercy echoed through the void, unheard and answered. The deity's fury intensified, manifesting as a tempest of thunder and lightning, shaking the very foundations of their existence. The ground beneath them cracked, threatening to devour them whole, while shadowy tendrils snaked around their trembling bodies, tightening their grip with each passing moment. Fear consumed them, stripping away the last vestiges of humour that had once fortified their spirits. Their laughter turned into desperate gasps for air, their jests drowned by the weight of impending doom. In a final act of defiance against the overwhelming terror, Rajan's voice quivered as he called out to Lord Shiva, Please, great Lord, spare us from this eternal damnation. We are but mere mortals, unworthy of your wrath. Sanjay, his face etched with fear, joined in the plea. We beg for your mercy, O oh mighty Shiva. We have learned our lesson and we will never trespass the boundaries of the divine again. The darkness seemed to pause for a fleeting moment as if contemplating their plea. Then, with a deafening roar, Lord Shiva's voice boomed through the abyss, resonating with both power and judgment. Your pleas have reached my ears, mortals. Know that the divine will not be trifled with. Consider this a warning, a reminder of the fragility of human existence. With those words, the suffocating grip of the void loosened, and Rajan and Sanjay found themselves back in the mortal realm. They collapsed to the ground, gasping for breath, their bodies drenched in cold sweat. Silence enveloped them as they slowly realized the gravity of their ordeal, the terror they had faced, the boundary between life and death they had traversed had forever changed them. The once lively spirits within them were now humbled, marked by a profound sense of reverence and caution. As they staggered to their feet, Rajan and Sanjay exchanged a solemn gaze, their faces etched with a newfound understanding of the world's mysteries. No longer driven by jests and humour, they walked away from their harrowing encounter, their steps heavy with the weight of the divine. And in the years that followed, their encounter with Lord Shiva became a haunting memory, a reminder that even in the face of laughter and levity, there existed a realm of darkness and consequence, a realm that demanded respect and reverence forever etched in their souls.